Hello YouTubers, my name's Charlie. Oh, and Volkswagen enthusiasts, don't let me forget you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little quick walk around my truck. And I appreciate, thank you in advance for your kind comments. And so here it is, hope you enjoy it. So I built this originally for my now ex-wife. So, you know, I thought about, well, I might keep it for my future new ex-wife, but we've decided to go ahead and sell it. We've got too many projects going on now. Uh, finished this build in early spring of 2011, put an unimaginable amount of time into this and money. Uh, I recycled a lot of cool parts on this. I'm going to give you a quick run over. I, I custom built a wiring harness for this machine. Added a blade type fuse box up under there. The may not be able to see it. The battery is sitting right behind it. It's got rice rocket turn signals. I added halogen backup lights, one on either side. Added a blue clearance light that comes on with the driving lights to reflect a little blue tint down here on the engine. Uh, this, uh, this engine's a AS41 Mexican block dual relief stock cam. Uh, added 87 millimeter jugs, dual port heads on top of that. It's uh, started out with a, uh, a Soul X single barrel and graduated on to the new progressive two-stage. I really, really like that. It works perfectly. Maltese tail lights. Very cool. So that's your tail and brake lights right there and your turn signals are up underneath. Uh, ran this machine quite a bit with the baffles out. You can see I've got them pop riveted in there. Just eighth inch drill bit run through there and drop them right out sounds like a hot rod v8 people men ask me all the time what kind of engine i've got on this machine they don't even know so i'll say i don't know if i mentioned the wheels or craiger star wire wheels very beautiful wheels on 60 series daytona yeah daytona daytona tires and this machine doesn't weigh a whole lot so a set of tires will last you forever Fuel tanks are tucked up under the fenders on either side. There's your filler neck. There are approximately seven to eight gallons of fuel. Nice belt guard to keep kids' fingers out of there. And I make many people say, well, why don't you have a, a rear cage on this? Well, I'm afraid if somebody rear ends you, a rear cage is not gonna save that engine. Nevertheless, I think it would just destroy the the nice clean look of this machine. I, when I built this, I wanted it to look old school and I wanted to keep it clean and tasteful and I believe I've accomplished that. Uh, recycle four wheel drive grab handles on the back. The spade is off of a, an old chopper. I recycled that into it. The seat covers are snapped on except for the front driver's seat is velcroed so it comes off very easily removable and replaceable very fast and easy now this machine's not perfect because my daughter and i rode the wheels off this this summer and we enjoyed every minute of it i've had this machine all over the place all over the mountains and we love this thing but we're going to get into some other vehicles and then you'll see why this this one is uh, for sale now because we have lots of other things we want to do too so i added 55 watt halogen driving lights one on either side the transmission's rs four speed the side shifter right there and it works really good a custom set of handlebars recycled your right hand controls your fuel. Got a sun tune tack there. No speedometer on this machine. I ran it 2200 RPMs all day one day and my son said, Dad, you ran 70 miles an hour. 
So he was on a motorcycle. And so I started running at about 1900. <laughs> so the mirrors are Harley mirrors that have been recycled, clamped on there. Ford controls are old school on off headlight, which is rare to find anymore. Your turn signals high and low, and then there's a little extra addition here. Yep, that'll get them out of your way. So your gauge cluster is fuel, oil pressure, amps. And I've got an indicator for the turn signals added in there. Cigarette lighter, left switch is forward driving lights, right switch is the backup lights. I've not find, found anybody that didn't love this machine. That's a recycled Harley windshield. I have matching rear saddle bags to go with this. One for either side. We recycled Harley turn signals and added to this girder chopper front end with a new wheel and tire that I installed on it this spring, 19. Very, very good wheel and tire, balanced well. So if you notice all this, when I built this, I want it to look old school. I recycled too. Chrome. Railroad spikes for the highway bars to prop your legs on. Your left foot's clutch, right's the brake. These are four wheel drive steps. If you notice all this, it's all poured full of molten lead. There's a hundred pounds of molten lead in that. And then this brace is about 10, 12 pounds by itself. And what you're seeing on the other side of that is a hydraulic park lock. Okay, so you mash the brakes and push that park lock and your, your brakes are locked down. Very good thing to have on a truck. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Now, had I just finished this build, I would want a lot more for this machine. But it does have a few flea bites and signs of wear and tear, which to me doesn't hurt it one bit. It's a beautiful machine. I still put it in the shows. It gets more attention than you could ever imagine. All right, thank you, man. Y'all have a good day.